Okay, in this short video, we are going to look at how to assign 2023 emergency room coding guidelines to an emergency room case. So our patient comes in with a chief complaint of left lower quadrant abdominal pain. Our HPI states, our patient is a 56-year-old male who presents to the emergency department with a 30-hour history of left lower quadrant abdominal pain. The pain was severe and sudden as its onset yesterday morning and lasted several hours and resolved completely. He had return of pain about 2 p.m. today and it was severe at onset but had subsided somewhat. He has noted some frequency of urination, but he denies hematuria and dysuria. He has been moving his bowels normally. The pain in recent hours moved around to his back somewhat. He has slight nausea, but no vomiting. He has never had similar symptoms before. He is a generally healthy man who does not take medications on an ongoing basis. He occasionally sees Dr. Milton, however, he came here because Dr. Milton was not available today. The physical exam. Objectively, the patient is alert in no acute distress. The abdomen is somewhat mild, distinct left flank tenderness. There is no particular tenderness in the left lower quadrant, but the patient is experiencing mild to moderate tenderness in the left mid abdomen to left upper quadrant. No mass or organomegaly was noted. Bowel sounds are normal. Genital normal a urinalysis was obtained that demonstrated 3 plus occult blood and 1 to 5 white blood cells. 80 to 100 red, red blood cells, no bacteria. The assessment is renal colic. So the plan, the patient was not in severe distress at the time of discharge. He was allowed to go home with Lortab Elixir, one, two, or three teaspoons every four to six hours as needed for pain. A total of eight ounces were prescribed. He is unable to swallow pills. He is asked to promptly return should his symptoms worsen or vomiting develops. Also, he's asked to see his own doctor, Dr. Milton, in one to two days if he has persistent sim symptoms. I did send him home with a urine strainer and asked him to return any stone he might catch for laboratory evaluation, further care, and workup per Dr. Milton. Okay, so in the emergency department setting, we need to code the ICD-10 CM for the diagnosis and then the CBT for the E&M visit that took place in the emergency department. So our assessment or our diagnosis is the renal colic, right? That's what the patient came in with, the left lower pain in the abdominum and the physician determined it was renal colic. And then for our procedure, we did the ENR visit. We did have our physician, if we come back, he did the physical exam as needed he ordered a urinalysis and then looked at what it showed. So we're gonna use that as we go into our coding. So first, get out your diagnosis code book and we're going to look up renal colic, right? That was our diagnosis. Renal, remember, we do not go to renal because that's where we go to colic. We go to what the condition is, so colic. Once we're at colic, we're going to go down to renal. So we have N23. Always we look it up in the alphabetical index, and then we verify in the tabular list, right? So now we need to flip to N23. So N23, it tells us unspecified renal colic, and it gives us a note here. It's a valid three-character code. No further characters are required. That's important. Remember, we always look up in the alphabetical index and verify in the tabular for instructions or notes if we need to add an additional character, if there's an include or exclude note. But here, it's telling us 
This is a valid three character code, so we know there's nothing further to do with our diagnosis code. So our diagnosis code is the N23. Now let's go to our CPT. And our patient was seen in the emergency room. So we want emergency department services, right? Which it tells us here are 99281 to 99285, 281 to 285. Now, remember with 99281, that is for a nurse visit, and it tells us in the CPT book that this E&M service does not require the presence of a physician or other qualified healthcare professional, meaning like a physician assistant or nurse practitioner, right? It can just be an RN visit. So we know we're looking at 282 to 285. And get out your E&M guidelines that we have. Right, so this one is from the American College of Emergency Physicians. You can see it has all our five levels, 281 through the 285. Again, it tells us the 281. We're really not looking at any of the components for that. It's just a nurse visit. So for a 282, it's straightforward. There's a minimal with one problem for the amount or complexity of data to review. It's minimal or none and risk to patient is minimal or none. For low, we have one acute or stable or one chronic illness, right? And then for limited, for the amount or complexity of data to be reviewed, it tells us we need category one, tests and documentations, any combination of two of the following, review of prior notes, review of the result of a test or ordering the result of a test. And we have to have two of the following, right? Well, our documentation, we ordered a urinalysis and our physician interpreted or read that urinalysis. So we met right here two of those with review and ordering. And our patient had one acute uncomplicated illness or injury, right, with the renal colic. And then the risk to our patient was low. So we know we're going to assign a 99283. And again, if you want to look just in your CBT book, it tells us the same thing, that the 99283 is a low medical decision making. So our diagnosis is that N23 and our E&M is 99283.